What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I want to talk a little bit today about the importance of a routine and a routine for your throwing, a routine for your lifting, a routine for your warm up and uh, there's so many reasons why a routine is so beneficial to throw and will make you a better competitor. The first thing I want to touch on for routines is your warm up and having a good warm up to warm your body up, to get a little bit sweaty, to get loosened up. Um, First of all, it can help prevent injuries, which is huge, especially in throwing and really any sport, but uh, especially throwing where you need every part of your body to have a throw go as far as it possibly can. So a good warm up routine is really important. And personally, we do we do some hurdles, we do some arm swings, some other things to warm up. And then we always start with just some easy throws just to kind of get the body used to the movement of throwing and just uh, warm up very specifically with throws because there's nothing that's going to warm you up quite like throwing but you just can't go all out right away because you don't want to hurt yourself. The second part of a routine that's really nice is uh, for lifting and with lifting you want to have uh, your warm up for lifting if it's separate from when you throw. We typically lift right after we throw um, which allows us to not have to re-warm up but we go in and still uh, like get moving and obviously like when you're working out take your uh, first couple sets easy and build up and uh, I heard someone say before that it's best to not try to jump more than one plate at a time so if you're lifting um and say you're doing bench press and it's like i'll start with i mean i'll do some reps with the bar just to like loosen up a little bit um i'll put one plate on each side warm up with that i'll put two plates on each side warm up with that three plates on each side warm up with that and then from there i start to do smaller jumps um but to get to that point i don't want to just jump right into three plates on each side it's uh, slow development and build it up to avoid injuries and to make sure everything's warmed up so you don't like tear a pec or something crappy like that that could happen if uh you just jump into it right away going with a Heavy weight. So another part of a routine that I think is very useful is trying to wake up at a certain time every day, whether you have something to do or not. Today, for example, I was up at 8 a.m. I have nothing to do. Your body gets used to it, and I mean, 8 a.m. to some people might might sound early, some people might sound late, like I'm sleeping in or something, but. Um, if you can have that routine where you're waking up at the same time every day, it really allows your body to get used to it. It, it helps your metabolism um, get used to when when you're going to wake up. So then it starts digesting food so you can eat food and uh, it'll, it'll help you out. It'll help you feel better. You feel awake. I, I used to sleeping random times. I'd always need to take a nap if I woke up early because I, I, my body just wasn't used to it and uh, I felt like I needed more sleep or something so I'd have to take a nap if I didn't take a nap then I, I was just dying and like it, it would mess me up for a couple days really getting on a routine and trying to be consistent about when I wake up has helped me um, throughout the whole day throughout everything it's like I have more energy through the day uh, to continue to get things done and do things which sometimes is miserable to do if you're really tired definitely beneficial to have a routine for when you wake up and try to stick to that and do that whether or not you have something to do that day or if there's something that you have to do later you still wake up at the same time just because it's uh, good for your body and good for you the last thing that I really want to touch on and was the reason that I decided to make this video was a throwing routine and it is so important to have a routine for throwing and I think this is one of the most important parts of being able to compete consistently. Even in practice I have a routine and my routine is I start at the front of the circle, I picture the throw, I draw out the path of my throw with my hands, I picture like where my arms are gonna go, I think about the rotation, I think about hitting the finish and uh, I, I really draw out the whole throw in my head. I stand at the front of the ring, in competition I always take two deep breaths like deep in, deep out deep in, deep out, and then I get after it. And I, I'm getting excited, I start to yell. I'm always like, oh, let's go now, come on. And I'm always just pumping myself up. And I mean, it might sound weird, but I, I'm just doing what I can to get my body fired up, get my body ready. And I've learned that that specific routine works well for me. And it allows me to, in a competition, I could have the most nerves I've ever had. And regionals is always a big one for nerves because you need to throw well at that meet to qualify for the next one. Um, having the throwing routine that you work on in practice and you stick with in practice and do it every single throw in practice, you get into the competition. And when you have that, you it allows you to calm down it like it gets rid of all of my nerves and then it just is 
purely adrenaline that I have uh, to do the throw. So it's so beneficial to have that throwing routine. I haven't competed at like a real world championships, but I was at like world youth and world juniors. And even there, like I competed pretty well for myself. And it's because I, I had this routine that I could fall back on. And I, I was nervous and I was freaking out. And I mean, a world championship against people from other countries and the best people in the world to compete with them on that level. But being able to have that routine that I can fall back on and think about is it just allows me to relax and it allowed me to throw well and I, I do it in every meet and when I hadn't thrown for a year I came back and weight throw and the same thing like I was so excited so full of adrenaline but I was also really nervous that I was gonna foul and it wasn't gonna go far but I took my breaths I pictured the throw yelled pumped myself up and and took the throw and I threw my first throw this year was one centimeter under my PR and weight throw after a year of not throwing it and back surgery and everything like that. The routine is so important and it's the same if you watch basketball players. They they get to the foul line for their free throw shots and they're they whatever, bounce the ball three times, spin it backwards, bounce it three more times, um, and then they line up for their shot. Baseball players I'm sure do the same thing. Step up to the plate, they've got their their couple swings that they do to to get in the zone whatever, tap the bat on their shoes, do whatever they do, and it's the routine that you go through that can get rid of nerves, that allows you to focus, and it's so important for throwing. All right, anyway, I just wanted to get these thoughts out of my head, and it's something that I think is so beneficial to throwing, and it's something that some people might not think about, and I think in practice it's so important to, to work on that routine that you do so it, it becomes habit and it's natural, so you don't freak out when you get to a competition because obviously in every competition you want to be able to compete at your best. So by having a routine, it can help you compete at your best. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something or I help, hope that it gave you something to think about and not just a routine with throwing, but the routine for waking up, the routine for warm up, the routine for lifting and things like that, that will all help you become a better competitor and athlete. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. I hope you have the best day ever, the best night ever. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.